same fluids. Nature does it with rivers and streams. We do it with pipes and pumps. Whether we're moving a little or a lot of fluid, we need to know how much is being moved and how long it takes to move it. This is rate in a fluid system. Unlike mechanical systems, fluid rate is not concerned with how fast the fluid moves. The water is coming out of these two hoses at the same speed, but because one hose is bigger than the other, more water is coming out of the larger one over the same period of time. So although their speeds are the same, the larger hose has a larger fluid rate. In fluid systems, the important factor is how much fluid moves over a period of time. The Recall that position. John Miller controlled the fluid rate of the water passing the through the dam. Through the By opening and closing right the gates, he controlled how much water passed over the turbines, and therefore how much electricity the dam generated. How much in a fluid system can be measured in two ways. The first is to measure volume. Volume over elapsed time is a fluid rate. It can be expressed in gallons per hour, liters per minute, or cubic feet per second. In each case, it's a unit of volume over a unit of time. The second way to measure how much in a fluid system is to measure the mass of a fluid that moves over a period of time. A pilot is not as concerned about the number of gallons of fuel he takes on as he is with the weight of the fuel because that affects the performance of the aircraft. So in this case, the fuel flow rate is measured in pounds per hour, or kilograms per minute. These two ways of measuring fluid rate, volume over time and mass over time, simply measure how much fluid moves in a given period. The next time you fill up, you can calculate the flow rate of a pump. The pump tells you the volume, a watch will tell you the time. Controlling rate in a fluid system is important because other rates often depend on it. The rate at which the water flows through the dam determines the rate at which it produces electricity. When fire pumpers are using their internal tanks, flow rate determines how long the supply will last. Flight engineers calculate the range of an aircraft based on the rate the fuel is burned in the engines. Usually rate is controlled by a technician, but not always. In a dairy farm, the fluid rates are all determined by the cows. Fortunately, they usually cooperate. Believe it or not, if you have nothing more than a stick, a tape measure, and a stopwatch, you can measure the flow rate of that dam. The first thing you've got to do is determine the average depth of the water. You can do that directly like this. So this water is about this deep. Next, you need to know the width and the length. You measure the width directly. The length, you don't measure the whole length of the river. What you do is measure a volume of water that moves over time. That's where you use the stick. So take the stick and throw it into the fastest part of the water like this. Then mark where the stick lands and see how far the stick moves in a period of time. Now you have a length, a width, and a depth. This is a volume of water that moved over that period of time. Volume over time is the flow rate. In other words, the flow rate of a fluid system is how much fluid moved over elapsed time. Bob, check that depth again. Again? 1.6. Again. 1.62. Again. 1.61. One more time. I'm going to get you for this. Wow.